previously in Russia. The oldest one you've ever killed. Yeah. Really? Yes, I'm the oldest one. We never shoot by ourselves. Yes, I could kiss you. No. I could kiss you telling me <laughs> stuff like that. I was so grateful and excited having realized the luckiest moment in 34 years of big game hunting. Now it's time to restart the meter and do it again. We're on our way in to hunt the Kubantur. And uh, we're kind of on the last leg of the travel in this morning. Um, we're on the Jeep, obviously, on the Jeep trail, and we're waiting for the horses to catch up behind us, and then we'll jump on horses, get up to the tops today, and be camping up high. A little Coca-Cola. Uh, yeah. Another awesome mm, adventure. Fix anything. Engine temperature hits about 80 Celsius, and it just acts up. Craig knows how to fix it, too. So the gas starts evaporating in the fuel pump before it gets to the carburetor. Well, the good news is we got a couple of gearheads with us. And we got plenty of time because the horses are way behind us. We ended up breaking down, I don't know how many times in the Jeep, but uh, we got to the point where we were supposed to meet the horses, but the horses still weren't here yet. They must have, I don't know, they must have had about 15 miles to ride in just to catch up with us. So we pitched tents and stayed here for the night, and it's about 6 a.m. So we'll slowly get rolling and uh, head up and start hunting this afternoon. How was the ride, guys? Great. Right. Spectacular scenery. Took us about two hours. Looks like we're sitting on the backside of a big rim where yeah. they're warning us the Turar. Pretty good stuff. It didn't take us long to get out hunting. And it didn't take long for us to find Tur. We managed to get into a dead rest at 520 yards. After pushing two important shots in only a few days, I'd lie awake all night sorting it out. At first light, we were straight into Tur.
you see the one up in the trees? Yeah, I think that's the bigger one. Making. I'm recording. I try to kill him. No. Go <laughs> by. Yes. Yes. southwest side of the Caucasus Mountains in Russia and we're lucky to take this nine and a half year old Cuban Billy. Uh, we're about two-thirds halfway down the mountain and uh, you can see that it's really steep. Uh, we've been putting our work in and it's been an amazing trip and the Russian side of the Caucasus is a exceptional hunting. I'm, I'm impressed with how many animals there have been in every location we've gone and uh, appreciate the fact that Craig spotted this awesome trophy coming around in the cliffs and the trees and it was complicated because we had bumped these uh, same group last night. I missed, I'm not sure if it's the exact same Billy, but there were three good uh, goats in that group last night and I missed at 520, a bit of a heartbreaker, but a uh, little redemption this morning taking and getting a second chance at him. So we spot them in a totally different canyon and we were real patient the guides are extremely professional told us to slow down and eventually they worked around and uh, we were able to get out in front of them so super excited start planning your next adventure to russia russian tour meets <laughs> doesn't get any better than this Full of gratitude, we went on filming as others continued hunting. Three good ones in there. Yeah. There's three good ones in there, guys. Two of the three guide tents were completely exposed, and with no wood for fire, sideways rain and 60 mile an hour winds chased us off the mountain. What an 